Hi, and welcome to the homework for Lesson 16. This is Grade 2, Module 3. As always, write your name first. You won't remember to do it later. Uh, here's an, uh, we have some place value puzzles for you in this homework. Draw the following numbers using place value disks on the place value chart. Answer the questions below. So these are hundreds tens and ones, hundreds, tens and ones, hundreds, tens and ones. So for 241 we need two hundreds. Let me zoom in a little bit. Tens, we need four tens. and a single one. For 412, we need one, two, three, four hundreds. We need one ten, and we need two ones. For 124, we need one hundred, two tens, and four ones. And you may have noticed after we're done looking at these that all three of these numbers have a two, a four, and a one, but the digits are in different place values. And so that's the thing that makes it a little bit, little bit tricky maybe, ordering the numbers from least to greatest. So that's least first, greatest last. So the smallest number here will be the one with the fewest hundreds. And that's the 124. And then the greatest would be the one with the most hundreds. That's 412. And then 241 goes in the middle. <clears throat> and now for this one, we're circling either less than or greater than each number. And we're going to say the whole sentence out loud when we do it. We have 112. Is that less than or greater than 135? Well, that's going to be... That's, smaller than 135 so it's less than 152 is it less than or greater than 157 it's less than 157 it's five less exactly 214 is that less than or greater than 204 it's greater than 204 it's 10 more 475 and here we have a 457. You notice that the digits are this, it has the same digits, but they're in different place values again. They switched the 7 and the 5 for the 5 and the 7. But 475 is more than 457. So it's greater than. And then we're looking at an expanded form. 300 plus 60 plus 5, you might want to just write out 300, that's 365, just so you can look at it and compare it directly as, as a number. Is that less than or greater than 635? Well, 635 has a lot more hundreds, so this is going to be smaller, so it's less than. And now here we have in unit form, 4 tens and 2 ones. That's the number 42. Is that greater than or less than 24? 42 is greater than 24. So we'll circle, circle greater than. And now here we're writing in this circle for each one, we're going to write either greater than, less than, or equal to. And some of these we're going to have to figure out 
it's just going to be better if you write down the right if you translate them into number form or stand which is also called standard form if you just translate it to that they'd be able to look compare the two numbers or the two sides and just really to see the numbers that you're looking at and it's easier to compare them when they're in the same format or the same form so and remember this maybe you remember this from first grade that the alligator draw a little picture here the alligator eats the bigger number so 100 is larger than 99 so chomp the alligator is going to eat the 100 so his mouth is going to open up towards the 100 that's how that was in uh, first so a lot of first grade we had that and then uh that's just that's been around for a long time that little memory trick so here we have 316 and 361. 361 is the larger number. 523 and 525. 523 is less than 525. And here we have 602. And this says 602. This is in word form. You can tell because it's all words. 602, if you just write this out, 602, they're equal. It's the same number. And now here we have 150, and then we have to add 90 plus 50. Well, you might be able to think about this. This 150 is really 100 plus 50, and this is 90 plus 50. So 100 plus 50 has to be more than 90 plus 50. But we could just write this out, 90 plus 50. If you think about tens, it's 9 tens and 5 tens, which is 14 tens. Now we're looking at 150 and 140. And maybe then it's easier to see the alligators eating the 150. 9 tens, 6 ones. That's the number 96. So 96 and 92. 96 is greater than 92. 6 tens, 8 ones. That's the number 68. And if we add 50 and 18, right, 18 is 10 and 8, right? So if we're going to add these two numbers, 50 and 10 make 60, and then 8 more, 68. So we're looking at 68 and 68. They're equal. 84 minus 10, so if you count backwards a 10, or take away a 10 from 80 and 4, you're going to have... 74 and then seven tens five ones is 75 you can put that in i mean if you ever have trouble with unit form which is what this is you can just put it in the hto chart seven tens five ones oh it's number 75 <clears throat> And 74 is less than 75, so the alligator is going to eat the 75. And that's what we have for Lesson 16 homework.